Hello everybody and welcome to Unstoppable Bonus Gaming guys. Today we are doing the extremely rare Pokemon finding guide. It is pretty simple so just sit back and relax and learn how to find extremely rare Pokemon and hopefully you guys will find one. I had a lot of help making this video from a guy named Kazezoku. I don't know if that's how to pronounce his name or not but I found it in the forums. He has a place where it shows the encounter rates. I will leave a link to his section in the forums down below so if you want to check that out you can. But guys let's go ahead and get the video started. Okay guys, one of the main important things to encountering extremely rare Pokemon is that you have gold membership. It increases your chances by a whole lot. You don't even understand. Alright, here is a list of Pokemon without gold membership. You will see that the common is 87% of the time. That is a huge percentage and 12% for your uncommon and 0.68 for your rares. That is almost nothing for a rare Pokemon. And your very rares, 0.1%. And look at the extreme rares, 0.008%. That is almost nothing. You are almost never going to find an extremely rare Pokemon unless you are super lucky. Guys, but let's go down here and look at it with the gold rates. Alright, you can see here that the common has dropped down by about 7%. We have an 80% now, and uncommon is 18%. The rares are 1% now. Look at that. 1% of the time you're going to be finding a rare. That is how much the gold helps you. So I advise getting gold. And even look at the very rares. It is 0.15% which is a lot better than it was and extremely rare is 0 0.01 point yeah 0.01 percent which is awesome guys you need to get gold membership if you want to at least try to find an extremely rare pokemon guys i advise it very much now for the demonstration in the video i'm going to use the viridian forest pokemon the viridian forest pokemon consists of your common pokemon being caterpie slash weedle your uncommon metapod slash kakuna your rare which is butterfree slash beedrill your very rare which is pichu and your extremely rare which is scyther slash pincer guys now let's take those percentages we had before from the common rare and thing with the gold membership and put it under them now let's take those percentages and put them onto a pie chart alright now you see the pie chart now imagine the pie chart with a spinner in the middle now each time you spin this pokemon you're gonna have a huge chance of getting on the uh, commons but the more you spin, the higher chances are of getting extremely rare Pokemon. Because this is how it works in the game. Every time you encounter a Pokemon, this little spinner here is going to spin and decide which Pokemon you just encountered. Most of the time, you're going to get your common Pokemon, but the chances are, the more you spin, the more likely you have of getting an extremely rare Pokemon. Because this is the same for Shinies. It works for both of them. So, the, the moral of the story is, the more you spin, the higher your chances are. So, encounter as many Pokemon as you can, and that way you can get as many Pokemon. So fast battles, run away if you have to guys, keep spinning the spinner guys. I hope this video helped you guys out and I hope you really enjoyed it. I worked really hard on this video guys. So if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all next time on Unstoppable Bonus Gaming guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.